Good morning guys, it's Rochelle from Monoline Furniture in beautiful Sydney. It is actually really nice. Can you see blue skies? No. Why don't phones show blue skies? Anyway, today, as you can see, I'm getting set up for a paint off. Let's have a look what we got. Right, I get asked so many questions about the difference between um, Dixie Bell Silk, Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral and Fusion. So we're just going to have a little bit of a paint off. So what I've tried to do is match up the colours as closely as I can. So I've got Fusion Bedford with Dixie Bell Silk Endless Shore. They look quite similar, I'd say Endless Shore is um, going to be it is lighter, maybe closer to a white, but I've not used it, so I don't know. Okay, then I've got Fusion Pressed Fern, love this colour, and Dixie Bell Chalk Mineral in Palmetto. Again, I love that that colour. It's um, they're very similar, but they've in in colour. But this is a chalk mineral, so it doesn't have the built-in top coat sealer. But I actually really like the finish of that one. And then we've got Fusion Ingle Nook with Dixie Belt <coughs> Silk Tide Pool. Um, I think the Tide Pool's possibly got a little bit more blue in it. But anyway, let's go. So ordered um. Fusion, Fusion Ash that I want to compare to Dixie Bell Silk Black Sands, which is their equivalent to Ash. It's their charcoal. I should get that today, so I'm hoping to do that video tomorrow because I'm actually keen to um, see that one off. Oh. So these are drawers that um, I had in my bedroom. I've just replaced them with grey ones that I've just done. These are painted in fusion mustard it's beautiful it's held it really well it's only scratched now because i've just scuffed sanded it and cleaned it with white lightning but this is a really nice paint really nice okay let's get started right so first of all we are looking at fusion ingle nook and dixie bell silk tide pool so i'm not going to be here saying buy this one or buy that one i use both paints i prefer to use australian made as you know but um it's good to see the comparisons ne next to each other. Now, they're, they're slightly different colours. But what I want to be able to do is see the difference in the finish, the coverage, and um, the quality, really. Oh, why can't I ever open stuff? This can't be because I bite my nails, can it? Ow, that actually hurt. There it is. Right. So I've got my stirs, got my, that's beautiful. See, so this one's got a little bit more blue in it. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say that's what it is. This, so this one's lighter. So give it a good stir. I've used, I've never used Ingleneck. I've used um, Tide Pool on a few beds, bed, um, bedside sets and they sell well. It's a really popular color. Right, and I'm going to be using my sleek 38mm brushes. I look all professional here, don't I? I'm actually sat in the backyard on a blanket and I've got a work light over me. Thank you to Twitch for that idea. We already had one. But, um, you know, I didn't think of using it. So hopefully my lighting's going to be a little bit better. Right, let's get started. So I've prepped these, like I said, it's just been scuff sanded. It's just going over top of Fusion Mustard. And it's been cleaned with white lightning. So let's go in with fusion first. I'm going to assume two or three coats of this, but you know, let's see. That's really good coverage. See, this is a really light colour. That's really good coverage. Oh, right, it's two coats definitely. No third coat going on here. Definitely. That's almost a one coat. Seriously, wow. That's really good. You're going to get better coverage when you're painting over a, a, a pre painted area um, if it's scuff sanded because wow. obviously there's no. Even when you um, scuff sand wood that's been um, varnished, you've still got a little bit of shine going on on it. 
so this is quite porous so I'd say you'd probably get better coverage but that is so good honestly that's that's pretty much full coverage that's crazy I will do two coats the reason I would do two coats even if I did have full coverage is because it's got a built-in top coat so you're gonna get the best of it then but oh, dog hair thanks Bailey story of my life right so and notice I didn't put much on my brush I don't put much on my brush it's literally just on the tip of it that I put it you don't need much right so that's that one done when that dries I'll come and do another one so this is definitely going to be darker but it's going to give us a really good indication I think of the difference in coverage if there is any and finish so oh it's actually more similar than I thought and yeah it's awesome coverage too yeah wow it's really good like I say I have used these but this but not for a while to be honest but I do like that you know they're both really good paints there's no denying it if you like mineral paints with a built-in top coat these are really good the green I'm going to be comparing against so the palmetto is a chalk mineral because they don't have um, dark colors like that in there or bold colors like that in the Dixie Belle silk range because it's they call it a Hamptons color palette I think so I'm comparing that to fusion pressed friend just because I love greens right this is really good coverage both of them are fantastic so I'm impressed with this with both of them so it's really going to come down to the finish I think and I found with both these brands so Fusion and Dixie Belle Silk that different colours have a different finish so some of them are really matte actually I haven't found that so much with Dixie Belle Silk Fusion I find it's quite, quite matte or flat in some colours but um, yeah it'd be nice to say that all the, all the finishes are the same with every colour but I've never found that to be true with any paint that's that's so good coverage isn't it guys can you see that wow both of those well done Dixon now well done fusion right I'll come back to do a second coat let's get the next colour started right I'm back now with the greens. I did start filming this just now and then realized I didn't have any sticks with me. Then I answered text while I was on camera, rude. Okay, so Fusion Press Fern. I've used this a lot, I really like it. It's quite a flat finish and it's got short work time. That was my experience in the past, but it's a beautiful color. Um, Dixie Belle Silk don't have a comparable color. So I'm going with their chalk mineral, which is Palmetto, which is a very similar color um this one doesn't have a built-in top coat this one does that being said i found their finish to be quite similar in the past i think but i haven't painted them in close proximity before so let's have a look i could be wrong i could have remembered that completely wrong so let's just get stuck into it so so this one doesn't have the built-in top coat so i would put a sealer on this I personally use uh, Karts and Millie satin top coats. That being said, this one does have a, a, a sealer in it, but it's flat. So knowing what I know now, it's been a long time since I've used this, I would probably cover this, put a sealer on that. But let's have a look. I'm just, uh, oh man, I haven't got a brush now. What's wrong with me? Right, let me go and get a brush. Right, I'm back. I've got brushes I've got way too many brushes let's be honest but I need six for this one because who wants to stop and clean in between right let's go in with palmetto I love this color the coffee table I did I think I did two and a half coats yeah you definitely get better coverage when you're going over a pre-painted surface that's been scuffed sanded 
it just takes it better than if it's a varnish piece pre varnish piece obviously really this is a darker color obviously so it's it's I was gonna say it's gonna definitely take more coats but that's not always the case that was rubbish I don't know what I'm saying um, I can see this isn't a one coat like I said when I did the coffee table it was two and a half coats I think if you look back you'll see it anyway where I used this it was about two weeks ago I think so this is um, it's, it's not sliding on as easily as the silk products uh, or the fusion and the Dixie Belle silk because it's a chalk mineral it hasn't got that built-in top coat so you can feel the difference which I would expect you know I'm not I'm not comparing this to try and um, say one it really is better than the other this is to you know, I want to compare colors and coverage and like I say on the finish but I know this one's gonna have gonna need a top coat I, I'm not sure whether the um, pressed fern would I haven't in the past but like I said knowing what I know now and um, I might but let's we'll have a look anyway <laughs> there's a hair on there from my previous paint job oh Bailey they were just for me so it didn't matter right okay we've got good coverage here and this is sliding on nicely but the coverage is about the same um, you can still see the mustard showing through so it's definitely not a one coat paint but it's definitely sliding nicer easier so with the the chalk one i would normally use a misting bottle to sort of thin it out and make it and give it this easier application the reason i would use um chalk mineral is if i can't find the color that i want elsewhere because you, you will find that um mineral paints in a lot of the brands are limited with their colors so sometimes you have to go outside of that and sort of make your own so what i do is use a chalk or a chalk mineral and mix in some top coat to it and you pretty much in my head you've pretty much got the same thing right that's the first coat on those they're looking good let's go to the next slot right <clears throat> last one last color so fusion that side isn't it and what have we got so this one is is definitely lighter than this one there's no doubt about that i've used fusion bedford before i've actually got it on my um dining table legs it looks like a beige in here it's more of a grayish so it's, it looks uh, gray in there on my table and then this is endless shore i'm not sure if this is supposed to be a beige or an off-white I'm, I'm really not sure but they're the closest that i could find of the stock that i've got because i've got limited stock of fusion like i said i've ordered fusion ash which i'll, I'll do that i'm hoping that arrives to, today and i'll do a a comparison for that one uh, tomorrow if that's the case Why is that? <sighs> right okay let's give them a mix up they're definitely lighter that one's definitely lighter so I don't know if this is going to be much use to you I suppose we just may be looking more at the coverage and the finish on this one because the 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 colors aren't really comparable this definitely looks more of an off-white but i've not used it before so i wouldn't know that really but they're the closest i've got so let's just run with it oh, that's some bad cleaning ratio luckily i only use the end of the brush so we'll be right okay we're going in with fusion first this time and i know this one's got good coverage because i used it on my dining table and the coverage and the finish is really nice i didn't top coat it um now don't get me wrong my dining table doesn't really get much use because i don't really eat meals now that i've got a tiny tummy and we don't really sit at the table which i know is bad but it's only me and gray now not that we used to before either i'm being honest but anyway i digress as always um i really like the finish of this one 
and the coverage but well, that coverage is amazing it's weird isn't it the, the light colors are giving really good coverage now i know there was a shortage of stock of fusion in australia for a while while well, covid i think that might have been resolved now i could be wrong just check on the fusion website or the dixie bell website to find a stockist if that's what you're looking for um in whatever part of the world you're in that's good, eh? So that's going to be a two coat application. I think this is more of an off white. I might have shot myself in the foot with this one, guys, trying to compare a white. Right, let's have a look. Oh, that feels really thick, actually. This feels like the I've used white cap. That's really good coverage. Wow. Okay, so it is, you know, it's not really comparable in terms of colours because it's a lot lighter. But hopefully it gives us a good idea of differences. I would definitely, using this one, because it's so thick, I wouldn't want to use all this paint. Because it's really thick, I'd be using my Mr. Bottle with this. And I know it's recommended that you don't do that because you'll be diluting the, um, the top coat. But... I've never had that as an issue. I get good coverage with Dixie Bell Silk always, and it just go. It takes it a little bit further. It, um, you know, you get a bit more out of it. But it's definitely pretty thick. It's going on a lot thicker than the Fusion. You can actually see it. It's not sliding as well as the, th the Fusion does. I'm actually tempted to go and get my Mister Bottle, but I'm not going to because that's not a fair comparison then. But can you see that it's, it's more of a, a grey that that one's dried? Looks beige in the bottle, which is very similar to Fusion. Sorry, not Fusion. Purico Fossil. It looks grey, uh, beige in the bottle, and dries as a uh, grey. Right. So that definitely went on thick. But look, that's that's really good coverage again. I'm pretty impressed so far. Got to be honest. Right. I'm going to leave all these to dry for five minutes, go and have my breakfast, which is my morning shake. And then we'll come back and do round two. I may have to do three coats on the greens, but the others, these are definitely two coats. That's really nice. It's like an off-white. I really like that. And I know I like the Bedford already. Right, okay, I'll be back. Right, round two. Right, just feeling this, this feels a lot more smooth than this one. That's got a nicer finish for, for what I like. I prefer a really satiny finish. That feels rougher. And I'm actually surprised by that, to be honest. I do know that um, Fusion is quite a flat finish. It's not flat, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel matte. This just feels smoother. Right. Let's go in with round two. <clears throat> so this will these will only be two coats. These two. Because they've got I've pretty much got full coverage already. It's really good. Then what I'll do at the end, once they've both they've all dried, I'll do close up so you can see the difference in the finishes. But I'm really yeah, it, it's actually really good for me to see this because it's been a while since I've used Fusion because as you know I use um, Australian brands mostly but um, I, I like these too this is definitely thicker but it self levels really well which I love I'm not a fan of watching my arm. Oh, you can't see it, thankfully. My arm's shaking away at me here, my bingo ring. It's like it's having its own little conversation next to me, like a party going on, something. It's very uh, distracting. <laughs> right, that's that on. Um, I really like that colour. I knew, I already knew I liked the colour because, like I say, I've used it a few times. So, what was the one we were doing with that? Oh, yeah. 
what's it called Ingolnook so it's lighter it is very similar though I'd say this is similar to uh, Purico Meadow I think yeah this this definitely goes on easier you can feel the difference straight away so this is smoother it's, it's thinner I think is what the key is it's definitely thinner which I guess also means you get longer work time which I'm surprised at because I actually thought it was the other way around so like I say though if, if a paint is a bit too thick I just use a mister bottle of water as long as it's water based and you're using a water mister you're good to go yeah this is definitely thinner and definitely goes on smoother And we've definitely got, well, you definitely a lot there, eh? Definitely got full coverage there with two coats. So that's really good. Right, let's do the greens next, shall we? Let's get those. So pressed fern and palmetto, and you can see you've already got better coverage on the pressed fern. And I'm surprised at that too. So this is a really good experiment for me because I'm being, um, I'm, I'm being proven wrong in well in my own head because I would have thought they would be the same they're definitely not that's definitely more matte as you'd expect because it doesn't have the built-in top coat so let's go in with this it does I, I can't deny this this fusion spreads really really nicely it's just thinner than the silk I think that's the key you know you can fix that but um, obviously it's easier if you don't have to fix anything so I'm, I'm surprised at that it's, like I say it's been a while since I've used fusion oh my god my arm stop it I'm glad you can't see that can you you might be able to it's bloody long right that's that so the palmetto may even be three coats and then and then you have to do a top coat so it's actually probably good to see the difference when you're working with a mineral all in one and then a chalk where's the brush for that gone bloody hell where's that one what's the matter with me people there's that one that one that one that one the girl's got my brushes what's wrong with me Right, we'll have to find this brush. Yeah, that's definitely a chalk paint with no top coat. So the difference really with chalk and, and mineral paint or the, the, the all-in-one paints is that it's an all-in-one. You have <coughs> the all-in-one, you have limited working time with it because once it's sealed, it's, you can't reactivate it so blending isn't as easy as possible but you have to be fast um, and that's not what it's made for with the chalk paint you can keep reactivating it with water and blend it to create really nice looks that's not really something that i do which is why i generally opt for the all-in-one see the colors are very similar this one's a little bit lighter but it's very similar i don't have full coverage still yet i almost do but it's a two and a half coat that's why i just do on the coffee table and that's what it is here so at least i got that right right what's next now we've got the those that are don't even not even a similar color so anyway Let's get it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bedford is a lovely colour. Look at it. Um, again, this one's a little bit more satiny, a little smoother. But that's a really nice colour. Right. You can, <clears throat> you can actually see when you stir it. Where's the other one? I'm going to leave marks on this now, aren't I? Um, so this is quite thick I don't know if you can see that I can definitely feel it when I'm 
yeah you can see big difference so that one's runnier is that the right word thinner um, but you still get the great coverage so I'm actually really surprised at this because um, I've been quite an advocate for Dixie Belle Silk of late and I still will use it but I'm I'm surprised at this outcome great I just got that everywhere why do I make such a mess of stuff right is that that one yeah what's that one right Yeah, it's good going from the Fusion to the Dixie Belle straight away. I'm really feeling the difference when I'm painting it. It's quite strange. But like I said, if I was painting this on a piece, I would be using my Mr. Bottle to give me some more work time because there's very little work time here. This is drying really quickly, or it's just really thick. So I'm almost having to overwork it to get get the coverage. So that's overworking it now already. Me going, I can feel it is still dragging. So that's been overworked. Right. Okay, so we've got full coverage. Now let's have a look with the Bedford, which, you know, it's, they're different colours, but I don't have, I'm only working with what I've got because um, I can't keep buying all these paints. I feel a bit stupid putting more on there, to be honest, because it's full coverage, but I'm going to, I want to do two coats. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm finding it nicer to wear it with. Definitely. So it'll really come down to seeing what the finish is like and the self leveling component of it. So after I've done this, I'll come back and we'll do that and I'll take some close up photos, I think. We can actually see that. This has been a good exercise for me, definitely. Right, let's leave it there. I'm gonna go and finish my breakfast and I'll be back. Right, they're all dry, so let's have a look at my final thoughts on these. I'll do close up with the the foam too, so you can see the, the finish, hopefully a little better. Right, so tide pool against Ingle Nook. This is much softer and fewer brush strokes so this is quite flat it doesn't need a top coat but when you compare it to this you would think it would this actually feels like it has been wet sanded it, that feels really smooth so for me although they're slightly different colors that's a winner for me that's not to say i wouldn't use this but comparing the two that's a winner right uh, palmetto and press fern. Um, see, so the press fern feel, feels more similar to the Dixie Bell tide pool there than it does that one. It is, it is, it does have a nice finish. It wouldn't need a top coat. Um, obviously, this one doesn't have a top coat built in. And with two coats, I still don't have full coverage. So, I mean, it was always going to be this anyway. That one's a winner for me. Um, because, just in terms of work, because I don't do blending and stuff. If I, was going to be, if I was going to do blending, then I wouldn't be going with mineral paint. That's just me. But in terms of, I've got two coats on that and two coats of that. That still doesn't have full coverage yet. And it would need a top coat. So that's a full coat. That's only two there. So that's a win. Okay, now we're looking at Endless Shore and Bedford. And I know these are completely different colours, but this is all that I had that I could compare. Um, okay, that's a better finish again. So it is swings and roundabouts. So 
from what I can see from this, the Dixie Belle silk has got a nicer finish. Um, by nicer for me, that means more satiny, not so flat. So both of these, the Tide Pool and the Endless Shawl has got a nicer finish. They're both thicker. So I would spray them a little, mist them a bit as I was doing it. That being said, they've self leveled really well. This is really nice and I knew it was because I've already used it. But when you compare it directly to that, I can see brush strokes again and I can't hear. So that's really interesting. Right, I'll get the, well, it's interesting to me anyway. Right, I'll get the phone and do close ups. So you'll probably find with the phone that the colors are gonna um, throw a bit more blue than you can see here. That's just what my phone does. It really frustrates me, but that's just what my phone does. I've also painted the spoons in these colours as well, so I'll show you those. That might be easier for you to, to compare them next to each other. Mm, this was a good experiment. I could have taken these off, by the way, these strips here, but then you just have a yellow, uh, a mustard stripe down the middle, which, let's have a look. It would throw it off a little bit. So I think it's easier just to leave that on. It was a relevant wrench. Shut up. Right, let's get close-ups. See if it's any better in the sunlight. Might be. Hope you found that useful guys i actually did i was really surprised by the outcome um when it when i was painting on and the fusion was going on better i just assumed that that would equate to a smoother finish with less brush strokes but it didn't and i guess that's all down to the self-leveling component of it so as much as dixie bell was thicker going on the self-leveling component just worked a treat so um yeah for me i, I was really surprised I, like I've, I've been using dixie bell um silk for a while you will have seen it and i used to use fusion so i thought i had the experience that i needed to compare those before even doing this but i was wrong i was absolutely wrong i hadn't realized that dixie bell was so much thicker than fusion and i hadn't realized that the self-leveling component in my opinion was was better so there you go right um like comment subscribe all the usual stuff head over to monolane furniture friends join in the fun there and um look forward to another video with you guys i'm actually going to do i'm hoping i've got fusion ash arriving today i ordered that last week and i'll compare that to i think i've said it in the video already i'm going to compare that to dixie bell black sands which is their equivalent to it i think um yeah I'm, i'll be interested now to see how that one goes as well have a great day speak to you soon